I, I want to give a brief update on where we are as a state. Uh, we've had elevated incidents of COVID uh, this last week. Uh, we have the uh, highest level of hospitalizations that we've had uh, since January. Uh, 964 Coloradans are currently hospitalized. That's 12 lower than yesterday. I was uh, so relieved to see the first decline in several days. It had been going up at a rather scary rate the last few days, but uh, it's certainly not any type of sustained decline. We have a very high rate, and, and I want to be clear, the people being hospitalized are by and large the unvaccinated. So of the 964 people who are hospitalized, uh, 744 are unvaccinated. Does that mean that we would have no people vaccinated if ever? I'm sorry. Does that mean that we would have no people hospitalized if everybody's vaccinated? No, but it wouldn't be anything close to a crisis. We wouldn't even be here doing weekly uh, updates if only 100 people or 150 people were in the hospital. We're here because we have a crisis, a crisis of the unvaccinated, uh, and there's a very simple step that Coloradans can take to protect themselves. And this chart is so compelling about what works. It's also um, a wake-up call to areas that have reached it. But what we're really seeing here is, is as counties are getting to 75% to 80% of their total population uh, vaccinated, you see a hospitalization rate that's about a quarter of our counties that have lower vaccination rates. First of all, this is just a clear linear correlation. Uh, congratulations to counties like Eagle, high vaccination rate, almost no one hospitalized, Boulder, Broomfield. Uh, but then, unfortunately, uh, there's some counties that uh, the word still needs to get out about the importance and the benefits of the vaccine. And there are a lot of Coloradans unnecessarily hospitalized because they didn't get the vaccine. And you know what? With some of the, the new therapies we have, many of them will recover, but some of them won't. Some of them won't make it. And even some of those who do recover will have weeks or months uh, of a very difficult and challenging recovery. And what's frustrating, of course, is that as folks in Eagle and Boulder and, 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 and Broomfield County uh, demonstrate, we have the solution. Um, the doctors who are gonna talk today of the solution, your local doctor that you see knows the solution. Uh, it is the highly effective and safe vaccine, which dramatically reduces everyone's risk. First and foremost, your risk of contracting the virus, of being hospitalized if you get it, and of dying if you are hospitalized. At every step of the way, the vaccine is highly effective at reducing your risk. And not, not you know, it's not one of those things where you just do a marginal cost benefit analysis and say, oh, it helps a little. It is a dramatic, dramatic difference in risk profile. Uh, the virus is here, the virus will stay here. There will never be no risk of COVID. But your risk is substantially reduced to a reasonable level that you don't have to worry about every day once you're fully vaccinated. And again, I would encourage those who got the Pfizer vaccine more than six months ago to get a booster or those who got uh, Moderna and have a weakened immune system or are aged to get that booster. We'll have more information on that in coming events. 